Hi, this is Doug with Database by Doug. Short video on finding unmatched records. The normal pattern involves a left join, which is an outer join. And uh, if you want a more complete explanation, go check out the outer join video that I have out there. So some practical examples of finding records in one table that do not line up or satisfy a join in the other table might be products that are not in a category or categories that are not in the products table. So, um, you know, categories and products are in a one-to-many relationship. So categories have many products and products are in at most one category. So the foreign key is in the products table and this makes a difference when we start looking for the unmatched uh, records. So the first example is products that are not in a category and when you look at the join condition between these two where I'm, I'm trying to get the category ID and categories to match the category ID and products um, this is an easy thing to check. I can just look for a product that doesn't have a foreign key. Uh, in other words, the foreign key value is null. Um, if it actually had a foreign key value, it would have to be a valid foreign key value, so it wouldn't be unmatched. So this is pretty easy on this, um, in this direction because everything I need is in the products table. I actually don't need to go look in the categories table because I know it's either got to be a good category ID or it's got to be null. If I come from the other direction and say, well, what categories don't have products in them? In other words, I'm looking for a category ID that's over in categories, and that category ID does not exist in any product records. So here's the pattern, then we'll, we'll dig into why it works. Is categories is the, is the table of interest in this case. And then products is kind of the unmatched thing. And I do categories left join products where the primary key of products is null. So more generally, I have this table of interest and I left join that with the other table, the unmatched table. And then I look in that unmatched table for any record that's shown over there that has a primary key that's null. So that indicates that it's a null record and that the record doesn't really exist. Now, let me go into more detail here. Let's say we do a normal join between these two tables where I have the primary key and the foreign key is equal based on my join condition for every record. So with a normal join or an inner join, which is uh, implied here, this is the case. And these are all the records that satisfy the join. So these are all matched records. Notice that there's 77 of them. Now, if I convert that or shift it or change it to a left join, which is an outer join, and the left part is categories, it will include all of the categories even if they don't satisfy the join condition. So you can see that I have 78 rows now, and if I look for that row, there it is. Uh, I happen to have put this category into this database, and what I can see is that there is a null value here which violates this join condition. And that is, this record here is provided by the left operator. Um, you can think of it as, well, the left operator says, include office supplies even though there's no products record. But I need to make the whole, the database needs to make this a full table. So what it does is it inserts a null record. In other words, a record with all null values for all the fields. And, um, but sometimes, you know, you might say, well, maybe the category ID is just null. Um, uh, how do I know that it's really a null record? Well, the primary key of products is product ID. The only way I can have a null product ID if this is, is if this record really doesn't exist. It can't really be a record over there or I would be violating uh, the primary key constraint. So um, at this point, I have all these records. I have records that line up between category ID. They are matched. This is the record I'm interested in and the way to eliminate all the other ones and keep just the one that I'm interested in is to put a where condition in that says where the product ID and products table is null. So there we go. There's the final form of it. 
all of those matched records have gone away. I have remaining uh, this record, and I don't really want to see the null records or maybe even the category ID, so I can pair it back to its simple form of just category name, categories left join products where the product ID is null. Thanks for watching.